Hello, and uh, this video is to teach you how to um, fix the problem of the Corsair uh, microphone. Um, many of you actually have found that if you have, uh, have a Corsair microphone, and each time the computer boots, the audio quality is kind of bad. And uh, I will show you here. The reason for the audio quality to be so bad is that each time the computer boots, somehow the Corsair microphone is become recording or taking a sample at 8 kHz, which means that the audio quality will not be as good as what we could hear in real life. And 8 kHz is certainly a very low quality. It is like um, calling someone over the telephone. And um, to resolve this, many of you might actually um, unplug the a headset from the PC and replug it, and it just magically solves. And uh, it may be uh, the audio quality may become um, at least um, comfortable for s some people. But then, when your PC reboots, it will f uh, become 8 kilohertz again, and which is a um, telephone quality. And uh, to a actually solve this problem permanently. We actually have a one simple trick to do so. Um, if you are using Windows, and um, I assume you are using Windows, you actually should have um, a speaker icon at the right here. And you just right click it, and there are several op options. And then you click this sound. Now we will have a menu about um, your sound settings of Windows, but then uh, we switch to the recording tab, and then here you will have um, all of the microphones or at, at least the interfaces that your PC can detect. And of course, here is my microphone. This is uh, the Corsair Ford Pro USB, but um, I guess that uh, the headphones are more or less the same. At least they are both microphones from Corsair itself. So now we just uh, click this headset microphone, that is uh, your Corsair microphone, and then to properties. Then you will see that um, some information about the headset. Now we click on the advanced tab, you will see that the default format I've set to 48 kilohertz, and this is how you fix the problem. Initially, the PC actually will have it set to 8000 kilohertz. That is telephone quality, and this is what probably you will find it by now. That your PC also sets it to eight kilohertz, and now if we just switch it to um, forty-eight thousand kilohertz, um, that is DVD quality, and then you have to click apply. You have to click apply, and then um, there will be a confirmation box. You just click yes, and then you just reboot your PC. And after that, um, assume that you have Discord, you could um, actually switch over here and you could have a, a microphone test, like, like this. this. So, um, I often use Discord's um, you know, quality uh, my test to test how my microphone performs. And I found that each time I reboot my PC, if I have set it to 48 kilohertz, the problem actually solves. And that is, even if you reboot, the, pro the solution is still working. So this is it. This is how you should solve the Corsair microphone problem. And I suspect that, uh, not suspect, but I suggest that Corsair should actually have to do a firmware update or at least um, have an automatic detector in their ICUE software to fix it, because setting the audio quality 
is the vendor's job. The microphone has the potential to deliver such a great audio quality, but at least this is, I actually think this audio quality is good. And it has noise cancelling extractor. And um, this actually, the 8 kilohertz actually and pulls back how the Corsair microphone will perform. And the customers may be um, unlikely to buy it if they could hear such a um, you know, robotic voice that I have given you guys to uh, hear before. Yeah, so by now, Corsair has no any significant moves to fix it. So here is a suggested video to how to resolve your um, audio quality problem. Thank you for watching.